Today is a very special day here in the T. Martin household and a very special episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Could any of you guys tell me what's happening tomorrow? We're one day early, but what's happening? Coda, do you know what's happening? You look very happy. Cooper, I think you know what's happening. Tomorrow is your second birthday, woo! Oh my gosh, 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 it's your second birthday. How exciting is that? So today, we are gonna be celebrating his birthday a little bit early, so you guys can join us in all the festivities, and we have some fun stuff planned, including a really, really big surprise at the end that I think he's gonna freak out about. If you guys have been watching the series, you know these two guys, and they have their favorite thing in the world, which is food, and their second favorite thing in the world is probably taking a ride. So to start off the birthday festivities, we are gonna be taking a ride to two different food places. Who's ready for a ride? Are you guys excited? <laughs> Let's do it. Look, it's our first stop. How exciting. We can get white girl wasted together. We should probably order something, right? Like we shouldn't come in and just ask for pup cups. Yeah, we probably what should. What do you want, a pumpkin spice latte? Uh, no. <laughs> can you help me? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Do they have like peppermint mochas? I want something with peppermint. Ooh, that sounds good. What are the sizes? Is it venti or small? Or just no, small? Tall. Tall is a small. Oh. Uh, can I have a tall peppermint mocha, please? And then a tall white chocolate mocha? Do you want a hot or iced? Iced, please. Yes, yeah. and then two pup cups, please. Puppuccino. And a two, I'm sorry, Puppuccino. Puppuccino? Okay, anyone? Uh, nope, that's it. <laughs> Great Pyrenees. <laughs> it's big and hairy, but very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we pulled out of the drive through line. We are now in a random parking lot, and look at this. So this is a puppuccino, I guess. I thought it was called a pup cup. Puppuccino, like pup a frappuccino. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. So you guys can see it's just whipped cream. That's all that's in it. There's whipped cream flying everywhere. <laughs> He's so serious about it right now. His big old lips. He can't help it. That's not even like a. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That's a really sensual look. Like he's really getting into this thing. Oh look at. <laughs> all right, now it's the birthday boy's turn, and the same. Yeah. How come this, they look so cute? <laughs> when you see a little picture, you're like, oh, you had no idea they slobbered all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, Gooby. Oh, that's that's nice. Well, at least he's going to clean my, my center console. Good boy. And now we are pulling in to Jeremiah's, which I've never been there. You haven't either. Have I've never you? never been there. I've only read about it. Huh. So she was saying they have different options of vanilla and a peanut butter for dogs? I think that's what it said. Too. I think both these cats would like peanut butter, so. Uh, I think so too. We'll see what happens. It's right here on the corner. They ended up being really, really busy. There were tons of people there, other dogs there. It was just gonna be absolutely insanity. So we came over here to a local park. They have two peanut butter little puppy things. I'm not even sure what it's made of, but it's meant for dogs. And then we got a Bahama one, which is actually pretty good. And Cooper has been trying to eat this out of her hand as she's feeding herself <laughs> on the way here. So they're both pretty excited. Coda, you ready? You want a pup? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, buddy, here we go. Don't eat the paper. Is that good? You ready for your pup cup? Yeah? Good boy. Oh. Alright, so back home, 
We're gonna start off with our trip to Wolfgang this morning and the stuff we got there. So what we did is, they didn't have any birthday cakes unfortunately. So what we wanted to do is have him make a cake that had Cooper on it. So like his name and the frosting and stuff like that. But unfortunately they were out of cakes today. So what we had to do is we got little pup cakes. Little itty bitty cupcakes. So, so we have two of those. One's for Cooper and one's for Coda. And then they also have kind of like normal treats that they make that aren't cake inspired. So we got a blue balloon for Cooper and a pink balloon for Coda oh. to each say happy birthday. Behind the scenes of a Super Cooper Sunday Instagram picture, you're seeing it live right here. Taking a picture of the treats. The boys are begging for their food. Stay. These actually smell good. Do they really? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? You Let's see what they think. Cute. <laughs> I think somebody has some food stuck on the top of his mouth. Did you get it? He got it. Okay, he's freaking out there for a second. I thought I was gonna have to take it off. Okay, so <clears throat> you little starving piggy boys, food time's over. I know you're looking for more, especially this one right here, but food time is over. Now it's time to get into the big surprise. So you guys may remember if you've been watching the series for quite a while, I think it was around a year ago we did the ball pit in the backyard at our old house. And that was fun, but it was 200 balls. It might have been 300. It was somewhere between two and 300 balls. And it was a good time, Cooper loved it, but it really wasn't that epic. So what we've done for his birthday this year is we didn't get him two or 300 balls. We didn't double it. We didn't quadruple it. We like eight times it, more than eight times. We 12 times it. We have 2,400 balls right here. If you guys are interested as to what that looks like when it comes on Amazon, it's almost twice as tall as Chelsea and it comes in four boxes. So what we're gonna do, I wish we had a really small room that would make this look epic so we could like fill it up to the room with balls, but we don't really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a way to block off this section of the couch and we're gonna fill up this with balls. So it's gonna be like a giant ball pit and we're gonna see what he thinks. This is the makings of our Cooper ball pit. We've got our couch along with a beer pong table and a box full of AC filters. I think this is gonna be a good size for all these balls. I honestly don't know how many balls 2400 is or how big of a space we need, but I'm thinking that this is gonna be a good start and we'll see what happens. So Cooper is over in this bedroom over here. We put him in there because we didn't want him to see what we were doing, so we're gonna get like a legitimate reaction. Obviously he has no clue and he's gonna be very excited because he absolutely loves balls. So we are gonna go ahead and open up these boxes and start filling this thing up as much as we can. And in the meantime, Cooper's gonna be pouting. You can see his little feet underneath the door over there. He's not very happy about this, but trust me, dude, You'll have fun in about 10 minutes. Now here is the fun part. And here is the finished product. The balls came in big boxes of little boxes, which I think is a little bit too much, but this is what we're working with. So, I mean, honestly, we probably could have fit like 3,500 balls in here, or maybe even more, but I think this is gonna be a good amount. It goes down, it's like, I don't know, probably three, four balls deep in some places. Man, this entire episode is just full of innuendos, yeah. So that's not too bad. It's gonna be more than enough for him to play in. But um, I think it's about time to unleash the beast. He's still very upset. You can still see his little feet sticking out underneath this door. And here we go. Hi, Cooper. Happy birthday. He has no clue what's going on. He heard a bunch of noise out here. He sees all the new boxes. You're looking in all the wrong spots. Dude. But he has no clue what's going on. Where is it, Coop? Where's the surprise? Oh, oh, oh. He's close. Oh, he found one ball. Is that exciting? 
That's what we got you. We got you one little green ball for your You're birthday. So happy with it. Yeah. Just one. Just one. <laughs> All right, buddy, come here. Let's go show him really what we got. Come here, dude. All right, so we've got a little door here. Oh, he sees it now. Hey, Cooper, come here. <laughs> Cooper, come here. Go, Cooper! <laughs> he is so... <laughs> he is so happy right now. I think that's enough excitement for one day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good job. Amazing birthday for our favorite little boy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Super Cooper Sunday. We'll see you guys next week. Also guys, don't forget, we do plan on doing a big P.O. Box opening as the holiday Christmas edition of Super Cooper Sunday, which I believe should be next week's episode, next Sunday. So if you guys want to send anything to the P.O. Box to be included in that, all the information is going to be down in the description, whether it be little presents for the boys or artwork or anything. We just, we'd love to hear from you guys and share a lot of that in the video. So if you guys want to do that, again, info is down in the description. Thanks again so much for watching. Peace out. Shout out to all you guys here at the end of the video. Coda, it's your turn. Let's see what you think of all the balls. Come on, buddy. He doesn't even know what to do. You know what fun is? You know what happiness is? He's scared to touch him. Look at that little prissy foot. <laughs> he just doesn't even know what to do. All right, we'll catch you guys later.